Hi, I'm Amy Orr, Christian mom, founder of Nurtured and Nourished Moms, and your advocate in the pursuit of God-honoring health. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. It's a pleasure and a privilege to encourage you in your faith and in your weight loss journey. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe and get access to the rest of my content. Today, we're going to cover three mistakes lots of Christian moms make when trying to lose weight. And I bet you're wondering how that might be different from mistakes non-Christian moms are making when trying to lose weight. We'll get to that before this video ends, I promise. I've made these three mistakes myself, and I know each can really hinder progress toward better health. So let's get started. The first mistake many Christian moms make when trying to lose weight is focusing on quantities while ignoring quality. This could be counting calories or just watching your portion sizes and not being careful about the specific foods you're eating. I did this myself until I learned the consequences. For the average woman wanting to maintain her current weight, it's recommended that she eat around 2,000 to 2,200 calories per day. If you're a calorie counter wanting to lose weight, you're probably already being careful to eat fewer than 2,000 to 2,200 calories per day. So you're operating on a deficit for weight loss. Now let's think about an example that I'm sure you'll quickly recognize as completely ridiculous. A sugar glazed donut is around 190 calories. I could eat 10 of these donuts throughout the day and have nothing else but water and still stay under that calorie recommendation, right? But that would be crazy, wouldn't it? You could eat nothing but empty calories all day, every day, possibly still lose weight from the calorie deficit and be terribly unhealthy. Following a diet as bad as this one will quickly have you feeling weak, sick, and exhausted as your body struggles to function properly without the nutrients it so desperately needs. I know this illustration is a silly one, but I followed a poor diet that wasn't nearly as crazy as donuts all day. I kept my slim figure while still eating whatever foods I wanted, but I paid a high price for not considering the quality of what I was eating. My body and my immune system were starved for essential nutrients and not at all prepared to defend against Lyme's disease. I was battling this illness for the better part of a year and it got worse, requiring huge changes in my habits before it finally started to get better. Trust me when I say the quality of your food is so much more important than the quantity you're eating. God made your body very capable of maintaining good health if you are careful to give it the nutrients it requires. If not, well, you might already be learning that reaching your ideal weight doesn't matter nearly as much as feeling healthy, strong, awake, and energized. So if you're wanting to lose weight and be healthy, be sure to avoid the mistake of focusing on quantity while ignoring quality. Nutrient-dense whole foods are your friend. The second mistake Christian moms make when trying to lose weight is not making protein a priority. Most ladies do not eat enough protein. Instead, we're often operating with a protein deficit that makes us feel hungry all the time and causes our bodies to hold on to fat stores. This is not a helpful habit when we're wanting to lose weight and be healthier. So how much protein is enough? 
The general guideline for women is consuming 50% of your body weight in grams of protein daily. Just take your body weight and divide by two. For example, a mom weighing 160 pounds should be eating a minimum of 80 grams of protein per day. But wait, if you're also wanting to lose weight, this amount isn't enough. Instead, take your body weight and multiply by 0.75. To lose weight, our 160 pound mom needs to eat 120 grams of protein daily. That's an additional 40 grams of protein every day. If you're like me, you're probably drawn to carbs more than to protein. Why is it so hard for us ladies to eat enough protein? There are probably lots of reasons, but I want to mention the two reasons I've come across most often in helping other moms. First, as we mentioned earlier, many of us women seem to be calorie counters, and we often get caught up in measuring calories instead of considering whether or not we're eating the nutrients our bodies really need. And second, I suspect you might be one of the moms who feels this. Most women don't seem to crave big hunks of beef, chicken, pork, fish, at least not all day, every day. Am I right? And for me, when you say the word protein, those are exactly the foods that pop into my head. Do you think that way too? It's been sort of a relearning process for me to start thinking of all the other protein sources that can be added to my diet. Things like nuts, seeds, beans, bone broth, eggs, and plant-based protein powders. Good news, we can boost our daily protein intake without chewing on meat all day. So remember, when you're working toward weight loss and better health, be sure to make protein a priority. Okay, you probably realized by now that the first two mistakes we've covered don't only apply to Christian moms, right? These are common for many ladies here in the Western world. So here comes the part that is specific for us Christian moms. The third mistake many Christian moms make when trying to lose weight is not recognizing this battle for better health is primarily a spiritual one. Have you recognized this in your own life? I didn't for a long time. It took God getting my attention and speaking to me through the struggle of Lyme disease and its aftermath before I really started to see things differently. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 says, Don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. So glorify God with your body. My body doesn't belong to me, and your body doesn't belong to you. They belong to God, for they are his temple for the Holy Spirit. And we're supposed to use our bodies to glorify him. How do we do that? Well, Romans 12, 1 tells us that presenting our bodies to God as living sacrifices is how we worship him. And verse 2 warns us not to conform to the world's way of thinking, but to allow God's word to transform us by helping us to think differently, helping us to recognize the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God for us. 1 Corinthians 10.31 even mentions our diet. Paul says whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. There is a spiritual battle going on for our bodies. Did you know that? The enemy has been doing his best to convince us here in the Western world that our bodies belong to us, that we can do whatever we like with them. He's even deceived many of us Christians 
we think as long as we're not harming anyone else, we can do as we please. This isn't true. It's a lie straight from the enemy of our souls. The one who wants to make us of no use to God in the building of his kingdom here in this life. Now, I can't tell you everything that God wants you to do with the body he has entrusted to your care. But I can assure you, your body is his temple, his property, and you are the caretaker. We are so careful to keep our church buildings spotlessly clean, immaculate, well-maintained. Shouldn't our bodies, his true temple, be maintained even more carefully? So as you work on losing weight and improving your health, don't forget that this battle for health is primarily a spiritual one for us Christian moms. And make sure you're offering all of yourself daily as your spiritual act of worship. Listen, mom, losing weight is hard enough. Don't make it any tougher on yourself than it needs to be. I've been helping moms like you for the past five years, and I have some good news for you. You don't have to do this alone. I'm inviting you today to join our mom community on Facebook, where we emphasize natural wellness. But since we can't separate our bodies from our spiritual life, we also consider our health in light of our creator and his wise design for our bodies. If you'd enjoy learning with us and you could use the support and encouragement of other like-minded Christian moms, check out the vi uh, video description here for a link to our group. Moms of all ages are welcome. If you found today's video helpful or encouraging, please take a second to say hello in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you'll be able to find and access all of my other content. Until next time, my Christian mom friend, keep your soul nurtured and your body nourished. See you next time.